I don't remember why, but I'd always wanted to be in the military. I remember telling my dad all the time that I wanted to be a Marine. I don't know, that kind of stuck out to me. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be somebody. I want to do something cool. Oh my gosh, that seems so cool. I had sworn in in May as a military intelligence analyst with the Army, and I got my uniform and it had my last name on it. I felt so empowered. I struggled with my faith my entire life, and sometimes I would go through a short period of being comfortable in my faith, and then I would go through periods of completely not believing, and then eventually I gave up. So your Sunday morning from about 7.30 a.m. until noon is your religious time. So either you get to go to church or if you stay back, you have to clean and kind of get harassed and everything. So after about two weeks, one of my friends said, hey, you know, I went to church back home. You know, I don't really want to spend all day cleaning right now and getting harassed. So would you go to church with me? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. And then I finally decided, okay, I'll get to sit with you. We won't get yelled at. All right, let's go. So we went, and during one of the songs, we all stood up, and every single person across every single pew in the whole church wrapped each other around and hugged each other during a song. And I just remember letting it all out. And God entered my heart, and I told him, I'm so sorry for holding that grudge against him. I remember just crying. <laughs> moment my fear just dissolved. I was no longer afraid of anything I had to go through because I knew he was going to be there and in that moment he just kind of told me I have you. I was actually in church and I had been in pain for a few weeks so the next day I ended up trying to go see a doctor and they came back and showed me the huge tumor that was in my knee. My heart sunk. They sent me to a bone tumor specialist, and when we went and saw him, he kind of just sat us down, and instantly he said, you know, you have cancer. So we just asked him more, and he said, you know, you're gonna have about 20 rounds of chemo. In the middle of those rounds of chemo, we're gonna do a surgery, and you have, it has a lower chance of working, and you have a lower chance of walking again, or you just lose your leg. So my amputation was very traumatic. Oh my gosh, I had my life plan, kind of has been destroyed. I mean, I lost my career. I lost almost everything. I mean, I even lost a fourth of my body, but it's okay. It's something I think about a lot when I struggle with things, is how much people have rallied around me and how much they support me and how many people have prayed for me, even people I don't know. I'm a better person because of it, and I'm a better person because of what I've gone through, and I have a stronger faith with God. My license plate is One Leg Meg, because I have one leg, and my name is Megan. This has been more than I could ever handle, but he gave me the chance to handle it, and I handled it, and now I believe that I can go out and do anything, and it's gonna be okay.